Hi everyone, Louis from Soul Busters, and we've got the silhouette finally from Cas, and it's got seven cars on it. So this is the consensus of Twitter. <laughs> These aren't my guesses. People had already guessed before I'd even seen the tweet. So first up, we've got the Lexus LFA, big requested car. That 4.8 litre V10 spewing out 563 horsepower. Beautiful car, sounds absolutely amazing. In fact, Lexus engineers wanted it to sound like the roar of an angel, apparently, whatever that sounds like. That's what the LFA sounds like. So there you have it. Next car, we've got the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon from 2018. This is a 6.2 litre supercharged V8 that spits out 808 horsepower and it manages to do a quarter mile in under 10 seconds with a 0 to 6 step of 2.3 seconds. I should joke that. It's ridiculously quick. And that's quite impressive when you consider it weighs over 1.9 tonnes. So there you go. Right, next car. So this is the Nismo 400R and this has got a 2.8 litre twin turbo straight six which pumps out 393 horsepower. Fair being to that. Uh, it's four wheel drive like they always are and only 44 of these were ever built. It's not that many really so if you ever see one knocking around yeah, that's probably the only one you're ever going to see in your life. So there you have it reet onto the next one for those of you who have PTSD from the Gran Turismo 4 Nürburgring trial look away now this is the Mercedes Benz 190 Evo 2 and for those of you who remember this car sounds great, handles great it's a beauty it's got a 2.5 litre 4 cylinder engine only pumps out 232 horsepower but it's nippy on its feet was actually built for the DTM over in Germany. This is an absolute classic, and I can see this doing quite well on a couple of the 600, 700 PP races. We'll have to wait and see. Next up, not quite done with America, we've got the Dodge Charger RT 426 Street Hemi. So, this is the track version of the Dodge Charger from 1968. It's got a 7 litre V8, absolutely massive block on this, 425 horsepower, it's only got a 4 speed gearbox but it's not too much of a problem. Just under 1.9 tonnes, so again this car weighs an absolute ton. But the good fun, the uh, muscle car, so I'm looking forward to driving this one, depending on how, much, how many credits I've got, still not got all the cars. Right. Next up we have the Porsche 992 GT3 RS, 4 litre 6 cylinder boxer engine, 518 horsepower but the big thing about this car is its downforce, so because it's got so much rear grip it goes from 0 to 16 3.2 seconds, it has 850 kilos of downforce and that means that it can go round tracks like there's no tomorrow. It's almost like a Group 3 car on this. Uh, it actually comes in real life with DRS. So it'd be interesting to see if in the game it also comes with DRS. We've got a few cars with DRS in the game. The Subaru uh, TT car has got DRS. So let's hope it's included. And lastly... I don't know how useful this car will be. I hope it's got more battery than the rest of the EVs in the game because they're useless. It is the Tesla 3 Performance, Model 3 Performance. It's the new model that's literally been released this year, new look model. So you probably wouldn't have seen many of them. Actually look miles better than the original. It's got dual motors, 466 horsepower, all wheel drive, it's not as quick as the plaid but it does not six it in 3.1 seconds and because it's American it comes with almost 1.9 tons of weight like the rest of them so yeah there we go 
that's the update no mention of tracks yet but as the week goes on I'll expect those to be leaked uh, the update will come Thursday so we'll wait till then right thanks for tuning in folks and we'll see you all next time adios <laughs>